Hey everyone, Shaburn 1000 here. Today and tonight we're going to be reviewing this Ozark Trail two-person hiker tent. We've already had to set up on a previous camping trip, but we ended up I had to come home because I was sick. So monkey, this is monkey's tent. So I had to, uh, so she didn't get to sleep in it. So I thought I would do a review on it and we'll check it out. There's some things I don't like and there's some things I do like. So stick around, let's get into this. We'll get it set up. I'm gonna do some cooking and uh, some stir fry in the wok on the grill. So that should be fun. So let's go ahead and get into this. It says it's weather tested, but it says superior protection from sun, rain, and wind but I have not waterproofed this yet. It's not supposed to rain tonight, unfortunately, but that's okay. We're still gonna set it up. We're gonna sleep in it. We're gonna check it out. Okay, guys. So one of the first things I don't like about this is there's a drawstring on the bottom of the bag right here it doesn't have a cord lock on it okay so this can come out easy but look where the handle is to carry it it's right here and stuff will fall out to me that doesn't make sense um, here's the poles because uh, we packed up kind of kind of in a hurry because we wanted to hurry up and beat the rain when we tore down when we broke camp that day but we wanted to do some fishing but the main thing we wanted to get our tents tore down before it started raining so we didn't pack them away wet so she didn't put these these go down inside the bag too so i'm going to put you over here we're going to be right back here behind me sorry about the air conditioner i can go in and shut that off for a couple minutes um it is hot, but it's supposed to be down to 73 tonight, so this is pretty, this is going to be nice. It's not supposed to rain, but, uh, so it should be, I should be pretty cool in here. Um, I'm still going to put the rain fly on to show you how it goes on and what it looks like with it on. Um, but you can also peel it back. You don't even have to have it on. So I'll probably just peel it back in case it would happen to rain. We are in Florida. That does happen. Zero percent chance of rain, and I've seen it rain many times. So... Let me get you set up over here and get you in the shade and uh, we'll start setting this up. It's pretty easy, guys. Um, the price on this, like I said, it is, it is weather tested, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say it's waterproof. Now see, mine said it was waterproof. I never um, sealed mine and I usually do on all the tents I've ever bought. I've, I went ahead and waterproofed them, but I didn't because it said waterproof and uh somebody said on my review of that well i wanted to you know something about seeing the you know me shooting water on it and show that it don't leak well you should never do that you should never spray your tents to check for leaks with a water hose because it can actually force water in places where rain would never go so that's false don't ever do that and go well it leaks it might not but you know i mean that's water pressure i'm not going to do that never have never will but i did get in it and uh when i was camping and it was really pouring down rain so if you hear some music sorry about that stupid neighbor back here again playing stupid music wait till i come out and start doing something then the music comes on it's always like that so Anyway, get a life, you know. Don't stop looking for the neighbor to come out in the backyard so you can disturb him. You know, that's me. But, anyway. But, um, so here's a clip of that, and it didn't lick a drop. This here is boring. Oh. Dry in here, though. So, all right, so now, like I said, I don't know about this. I will probably waterproof it for her just in case. It's not a big deal. Just get a can of uh, Scotch Guard, spray it. Any seams and zippers you got, just get some petroleum jelly, Vaseline, or whatever. Cheapest stuff you can find. Just take your finger, rub it down the seams, and when you get done, 
just wipe it off with a paper towel that'll seal it up same with the zippers and it also keeps the zippers from getting sticky especially if you have steel zippers they like to rust it'll keep that from happening but right now let's go ahead and get this set up okay guys so let's go ahead and let's pull this out there we go let's lay this out you can see it's still dirty from last time we had it set up but we needed to do this anyway there's the rain fly okay let me go in and turn the air conditioner off for a couple minutes okay so this does have two doors on it i'm gonna make my doors come to the side because this is at a little slant so i don't want to be rolling so i'm going to put it something like this it's not a real big footprint I'm going to go like that. Now they tell you in the instructions to stake this down first. But uh, I always put my poles in first. Sometimes I'll stake them down first. It just depends. But usually I'll put my poles in first. So we'll get our tent poles out here. I, I do like the look of this. This tent, it's blue and yellow. I know a lot of guys like camo. I got my uh, my last two hammocks were camo, but uh, if it's a tent, I do like bright colors. So we're going to go ahead and there's little holes down here. I'll show you once we get these. Once we get get it set up I'll show you how these poles hook into the bottom of the tent now one of these corner straps is yellow and that's so you when you put the the rain fly on it'll match up and I'll show you that too I'm just going to put one in this grommet down here and one on the other side. Put it in that grommet there. Same way with this one. Sorry again for the music. People just don't don't have any respect for other people. This one started in. like that and like I said we'll go over some of the stuff I like and dislike about this tent set this I'm gonna hook this in here just to keep it held up for me now I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna hook my hooks in here and I'll show you a close-up of this too here in a minute I do like these the way they just clip in you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, run your poles up through anything. That's always a pain. It's always a hassle. I know it doesn't take very long, but 
it's still kind of a pain. That now we're gonna get our other pole. We have this right here. There's a grommet there. This one does run through, I forgot, it does run through here, but it's not a big deal. There you go. Now I'm gonna put this in this grommet. And then the other side. Just like that. That's how that goes. Now, I'll take you around and I'll show you what we got so far, and then I'll get it staked down. Um, so, get you off my stand here. This is what I was talking about here. They just come up, clip around there like that. They go in them grommets. I put them in this one because I want to stake it down into these ones here. And this is what your rain fly is going to clip into. I also like that idea. So let me see. I can't remember if that hooks there or not, but. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. So let me get this stake down. And once I get it staked down, I'll bring you back. And then we'll put the rain fly on. What I also like is these tent stakes are beefy. Even our, our big tent, our six-person tent, has smaller tent stakes than this. These are beefy tent stakes. I like them. You can drive them in the ground. You can drive them through rock. Pretty good. They're not going to bend on you. Pretty good tent stakes right here. Now let's put our put our rain fly on again there's a yellow end on here let me find it you're gonna match that up right here this one is yellow. Now you want to match the yellow up with that yellow corner down there. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get this on here. And these just buckle here I'll show you they're just a buckle there you go and this will tighten and loosen as you need it to be so I'm gonna do that to all four corners it's real simple nothing to it but to do it so let me get the other ones uh, buckled in so you can see how it looks with the uh, with the rain fly on. Also, you got six more stakes. It comes with ten stakes. You got six more stakes that you can stake this uh, rain fly down with. So that's pretty nice. Okay, guys, there it is. Uh, if I wasn't filming, about five minutes maybe. And this is only the second time... I have set this tent up. As you can see, this is guide down really well. Um, there's guys here. This is, I mentioned, I think, a two, two opening. You can open either side. So what you do is you can take one of these stakes out, or take off one of the loops off the stake, put this back out, and then this also it's got these vents and then you can roll this up and you have a little tiny mini veg vegetable vestibule there now I'll get you on the stand and I'll show you how to roll them up so now 
We're just gonna roll this up just like this. And you have your little loop here and you just push this through that little loop and there you go. And you have a zipper. Now these zippers also um, pretty much the whole door opens up and I'll show you on the other side. Like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna take this off. You can also have like just one end open or both ends open or have it clear off of there. So let me back you back out here. So I did the other side wrong. You roll up this one. This is the one you roll up, not the one with the vent. You roll this one up. Like this. Not the one with the vent. But it's not a big deal because I'm probably just going to take this off. And you got a little vestibule there. So, there you go. So that's, that's pretty nice. Now, I'm going to unzip this door. It goes clear back there. Roll this back up here. Bring that around. Tie it. Whatever you got to do, it'll stay. And then this goes clear up to there. So you got that big of a room. That much room to get into. It also has, you can roll this up inside of here and it has another setup like that to hold your doors open if you're not worried about bugs. So, yeah, so that's pretty nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll talk about something I don't like on this tent. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unstake the, um, the rain fly. I might just go ahead and take it clear off, but, and then we'll get inside and I'll show you some things inside. So there's what I was talking about. You can open up one side, two sides, or take it clear off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna brave the elements. I'm gonna take it clear off. And like I said, we'll get inside and check it out. All right, we're climbing in. All right, now I do like, well, Looks like there's a little hole in this right there. Right there's a little hole. I got patches I can put a patch on there for. I don't know what the hell that's from, but there is a little hole there. But anyway, there's a hook up here. Now what I'm gonna try to do is I got my little fan here that monkey bought for us. And I'm gonna try to hook this up there. Let me, here, let me, let me get this hooked up. There we go, hooked up there real easy. Um, or you can hang a light up there, but in this case, I have a light too, with three different brightnesses. And now I've got me a ceiling fan. Oh, that's gonna be nice tonight. So, but what I don't like is, now, let me shut this off. Now, Okay, this is for if you want to hold your door open, like over here, you roll it up, and then that little you know, hook on the outside there. Hook right there. It just comes through and hooks on that, and that'll hold your door open. But we're in Florida. That door's not going to be open. Um, so what you... Okay, there is a pocket here, which we thought there was no... Okay, there is a pocket there. We thought there was no pockets. There's two pockets. That's great because what I was going to say is once you take your dunning fly off, you got to pull your tent stakes because if you leave them in the ground, you could forget them and lose them. I thought, where are you going to put them? There's no pockets. So there is a pocket there. And there's one on this side. 
so that way you don't lose your stakes so that's cool uh, so there's not much I don't like about it other than there is no port to run an electric cord through but you can zip your you know run your cord in if you have to I would have liked to seen a cord port but that's okay because a lot of places we go we do have electric and out here you know we got power to run things like tonight I'm gonna be using power because I'm gonna bring her dad's old laptop in here and I'm gonna watch some videos monkeys getting a video put up and Dennis put one up so I'm gonna watch them tonight so so far from what I the way I put it up last time it was kind of hard <laughs> because thing it, it looks a little different Ugh. um the way these are i was like what's going on you know what's this for and uh because it doesn't really tell you much it looks like look at that one it, it kind of got a bend then kind of like this is ready to snap or something I don't like that, but that's what that hook is for. You're supposed to hook those together. But now, you know, once you set it up once after that, like I said, if I wasn't filming five minutes, this thing would have been up with the rain fly on it. Yeah, see, that doesn't look right. See how smooth this one is? That one looks like it's ready to pop. Um, yeah, I got them all in there, right? Okay, so let me see if I can do something with that. Maybe it's not down in the metal all the way. Okay, sure enough, that is breaking. Look at the glass coming out of it. Jesus. All right, I just took two stars off for that. Because if you're out in the wilderness and that snaps on you, you got to start cutting branches and stuff to make something work. That makes me mad really mad that's all right we'll pack it up and we'll take it back and exchange it for another one all right i gotta get the grill fired up it's getting late i gotta start supper so the girls don't get too hungry but i mean i was getting ready to give it four and a half stars i'm giving it two and a half right now just because of that stupid stuff right there and this is the only second time it's been up and it's never been slept in you shouldn't have to deal with stuff like that. That's ridiculous. Use aluminum poles. That's stupid. So yeah, that makes me mad. All right, I gotta start supper. All right, we'll let that burn down. We'll bring the stuff out to cook with.
All right, time to get the girls fed. And then I'm going to eat some. I'll let you know how it turned out. All right, it's done. Now let's give it a shot. I put a little extra seasoning on mine. It's just uh, chicken. I boiled some chicken and monkey. Um, they were just chicken thighs. Just boiled them. Monkey pulled the skins off. Yes, I'm in there. They're in the house frying up. Um, and took the chicken off the bone for me. There's, I used six. Um, and then just, you saw all those bags of, you know, those cheap bags of uh, vegetables. It's always best to use fresh, but you know, a couple um, bouillon cubes, just the same. You guys have seen me do this before, but I've never actually made stir fry like this on an open fire before, but we're gonna try it. Mm. Now this is good. really taste the smoke I used um, a bag a small bag of that match light charcoal and then I put a couple oak logs on there man outstanding give it a shot sometime we gonna finish this and we'll move on to something else it's fun. What you doing monk Marshmallows. Marshmallow time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Need a longer stick? Yeah. Yeah. I have to go get the other one. <laughs> Alright, Monkey's gonna roast some marshmallows. You coming out to visit tonight, sit by a fire for a few minutes? Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm not gonna build a fire if you're not going to. Yeah, if you're gonna build a fire, I'll be here. <laughs> Alright. What you got there, Monk? Let me see that. Here, let me zoom in on that. So, <laughs> bring it down some. So, <laughs> I'm bringing it out. Up. So, how'd you, how'd you come up with that contraption? You did. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, make one. Figure it out, right? Yeah. It was too hot, wasn't it? Heck yeah. How is it now? So much better. <laughs> All right. Okay guys, another quick review. I, Monkey bought me a new tarp from Timu. Now when she was looking at these tarps and reading off how many inches it was, I even got the tape measure out and I said, look, it's only going to be this big. She says, I think it will be fine. So we got it yesterday. <laughs> there it is. Let me turn it around so you can see it a little better. Okay, so check this out. Got a nice little case. It's got the digital camo on it. But <laughs> here it is. She handed that to me, the package. I said, where's the rest of it? She said, that's it. So let me back you up here. That's it. It's touching the ground. It's touching the ground right now. <laughs> that is it. Now don't get me wrong, it'll have its place. I will keep it in my pack, you know, in case I gotta sit down and sweat out or something. I gotta sit down or whatever. Um, 
Yeah, so that's my tarp. So I got to get a real tarp. So this has been an ongoing joke since yesterday. Uh, very funny. So, yeah. <laughs> I need like an 8 by 10. <laughs> I mean, you know, if we had to cover this tent up, check this out. I mean, <laughs> yep, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, like I said, I might find some use for it, um, <laughs> I mean, it's very light and small, so yeah, I'll keep it in my pack. You know, maybe we can use it, like, to set down for Bruno to lay on, because he don't like to lay in the dirt. He's a classy dog, and he don't like to get his paws wet. So, it'll be good enough for him to lay on. It'll be cool, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Um, so... Yeah, I had to show you that. She said, well, you can use it to cover your camera when you're filming and it's raining. Well, I got raincoats for my camera. They're called raincoats. They're, they're clear plastic bags, really, is all they are. And I said, what am I going to do? Stand out in the rain and film? And I said, also, if I had a regular-sized tarp, I could have the camera underneath the tarp with me. So... Yeah, uh, five bucks. I mean, you know, if anything, like she said, we can use it as a tablecloth. I mean, you, everything's got its place, right? It just, <laughs> that's not the one I needed. <laughs> Had to share that with you guys. So, Monkey just informed me she thinks that was the large one, too. Uh, we, 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 <laughs> she was reading some reviews, and it was like, yeah, it's a, it's a nice tart, but... Um, it's much much smaller than what was expected and yeah I'm pretty sure if I remember right because she was asking me about it, I was like that's not big enough well we'll try it and yeah I I do recall that being the biggest one don't buy a tarp from Timu unless you want a little tarp I mean it's not even gonna cover a picnic table <laughs> but at least it'll come cover some of it if I need a, a tablecloth or something <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just laughed like Pee Wee Herman. Okay, guys. I'm all set up in there. There's my pad, my pillow, and my laptop. Used to belong to her dad. It is running Windows 10, but it is, it's slow. Uh, but I got my fan up here. It's got a light in it. So about this thing, look, it's getting worse. yeah so i thought well when you buy these things like monkey when she bought it it says if you have any problems do not take it back to the store contact ozark trail and i thought well you know i don't do things that way anyway but i thought you know what if i get a hold of con if i contact ozark trail maybe they'll just send me you know just this tent pole now you know and we don't have to take it back and try to exchange it and if they don't have one we'll have to you know get another one because if it wasn't for that you know i was prepared to give this thing a four and a half stars but yeah it says contact ozark trail not walmart i went on their website and in big letters <laughs> if this was bought at walmart do not contact ozark trail because they're not affiliated with them. What? So what do you do? What the hell do you do? So I guess tomorrow we're, I'm going to pack it up. And I'm going to take it back to Walmart and try to exchange it. I do want another one of these for her. I think it's fine. It's got plenty of room for her bag. It's got plenty of room for my bag. I may borrow it for a, a solo one night or something. But, and Bruno. So... She's got plenty of room for herself, Bruno, and her gear. 
it's a nice little tent it's easy to set up but that damn pole you know look at that so what do you do it says big letters hang on I'll get my phone I'll show it to you okay yeah so it says do not return to store contact Ozark Trail the Ozark Trail Association it says contact us but it says note the Ozark Trail Association is not affiliated with Walmart or Walmart's Ozark Trail branded gear. Phone calls and email regarding Walmart's Ozark Trail branded gear will be discarded without action. Please contact Walmart directly for your Ozark Trail branded gear concerns. But Walmart says to contact Ozark Trail. Very interesting. Yeah, look at that. That that's ridiculous. It's never really been used. It was set up once, taken down, and I set it up this time. Look at that. Might have been like that, and we just didn't notice it before because we had the rain fly on it, and she just never got to sleep in it. So anyway, I got us a fire getting ready to get started, and she's got to help her mom with her shower. I think she's going to set out here for a little bit. Man, it's hot. It's supposed to get down to 73 tonight, but uh, I put that there for ambiance. <laughs> it goes over there, but yes, I know the yard is growing up, but the tractor has an issue. Yeah, that's the mower belt. <laughs> uh, I just put on there not too long ago. I mowed the grass. I think three times we mowed the grass with it. And I put all new pulleys on that too, so it shouldn't be a pulley unless one went bad, which could be. But I just put all that stuff on there. So I don't know. Anyway, so the grass, well, you can't tell now, but it is getting tall. That's why the weed eater's out. I weed eated that around there, so that way we could um, focus. So, you know, we could have a place to set the tent up, but anyway. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Yeah, that's what I'm going to watch. Dennis, I just got your, <laughs> as you can see, let's see here. It's 6, it's 818 Friday night. So I just got your message, <laughs> um, your text that you put up a video. Yes, and I will watch it tonight. Um, yeah, so. Oh. And it's you again, Dennis. <laughs> Monkey already watched it, but I'm going to watch it tonight. So, in fact, I'll just text you back here in just a second. But that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll have my fan on me. I'm telling you what, it's supposed to get down to 73, but it's still hot out here. Man, I wish I was back on the coast. And here's the proof. Do not return. Stop. Do not return the. Do not return this item to the retailer. For missing or broken parts, which we have a broken part, assembly assistance, or additional product information, please call us toll-free at that number. Thank you. But, if you call them at that number, they tell you to go and call Ozark Trail, which says right there. They're not going to do anything. I don't think that's... Monkey thinks that's wrong that Ozark Trail won't take care of you. But, like I said, they're not affiliated with those art trails, so, or with Walmart. So, that being said, no, they're not going to want to take care of that broken part and then try to get a hold of Walmart to take care of them because Walmart bought the tent off of these guys. We bought it from Walmart. So, that would be like somebody buying something from me at a yard sale then them selling it to another person and telling the other person if they have a problem just come back to me it's the same thing you know it's just like if you buy a brand new car no matter what it is Ford Chevy Toyota it doesn't matter if you buy a brand new car and you have problems with it you're going to take it back to the dealership you bought it from you're not going to drive it back to the manufacturing plant to have it taken care of same way with this so and like I said I've never agreed with that anyway because I didn't buy it from the manufacturer. I bought it from Walmart. So Walmart's going to have to take care of it. That's just all there is to that. 
Well, that light didn't last very long. About 20 minutes. Hmm. Wow. Okay, guys. I'm all set. I've got my pop. I've got a big thing of ice water here. I love this thing. I did a review on it, man. This thing is awesome. This uh, Trevo, or however you pronounce it. This thing is awesome. Like, the next day, the, like, the next afternoon, the ice might be gone, but it's still cold. Cold to drink. It's colder than tap water. I've got my snack because it's almost midnight, and I have a snack at, every night at midnight. So I got me a cold pork chop here, leftover pork chop. Yes, that's the best way to eat them. <laughs> I got that. I've got my thermocell, just in case a bug does get in here. Plus, it'll go out through the netting. It'll keep the bugs out of the way, you know, for if I got to go outside. There is one in here, but I, I just had the door open, so there is a mosquito here. Got him. Um, of course, I got my smokes. I've got my cell phone. I've got my fan with the light on up here. That thing with the fan on on high all the way turned on um, it, it will stay on for four hours I timed it the other night but plus while it's charging you can also plug it into a battery bank or whatever you got so that's pretty cool and it'll charge while it's running so now I've got my laptop here so I can watch some videos whoops monkey's got one up we'll watch her video um, Dennis has got one up. I think he may have two up. But I'm going to watch his videos. And then I'm going to watch some other stuff. I think that might be too high. I'm telling you what, it's hot out here. But I turned, the, I got the fan off because it's right above the camera, right above the mic. I didn't want that blowing in your ears. Um, I got my shorts on, my sport shorts on, my house slippers. Monkey gave me a sheet to put over top of my pad so that way I don't stick to my pad if I start getting too hot but once I turn this fan on I think I'll be all right um, I just got to hear that air conditioner run but I don't want to shut it off I don't want you know the house the house to get warm monkey's got an air conditioner in the bedroom um, but this air conditioner out here cools pretty much the whole house the one that's in the kitchen so it keeps your mom's room cool too so I don't want to shut it off but it shuts off when you got it set at like 72 it, it'll shut off for a good you know 10 20 minutes um even longer if you know you're not going in and out like if i go into the garage you know let some cold air into the garage and whatnot so at nighttime it shuts off for a while so yeah um so i'm gonna i'm gonna watch some videos here I may have to, I got this little step stool I got this sitting on. I may have to uh, take it down off of there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the tent, like I said, I'm not sure about what we're going to do. Monkey says she just wants to try to take it back and get her money back. But I like the tent, but I don't know. Um, you know, if it wasn't for that, for that one tent pole, that's ridiculous. Um, I got some glass in there some uh, fiberglass I could fix that but you shouldn't have to this is the first time it's being slept in you know so I don't know and I got a view of my fire let me turn you around here and see if you can see it or not yeah there's my little fire out there So yeah, that's my little fire. So I got a view of that. Chair's a little in the way. Ooh, I got a cool breeze. So, but yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll kick you guys back on before I go to sleep because it's probably gonna be late. Um, I usually go to sleep between four and five. So 
uh, the other night I didn't sleep at all <laughs> before our little trip. Um, yeah, I, I was, uh, I probably got 20 or 30 minutes and then that night I didn't sleep at all. Last night, well actually today, I slept this morning for a couple hours, so that's pretty cool. But I used to work a lot of third shift jobs and because I loved, I loved third shift and uh, I kind of got used to it and you know I've never been a good sleeper anyway so all right I'm gonna shut this off hopefully the porch light it's motion detection the the light over here is motion detection so hopefully it'll go off um, sometimes it'll pick up the fire and kick itself on but I think in here I don't think it should pick me up moving around so I should be alright there once that light goes out we're going to be good um, this light here I want to turn off right now There's the button. oh three settings I forgot yeah so that's just the you know alright guys so I'll kick you back on before I say good night and oh I also have my big light on up here on top of the camera that's low that's as low as it'll go and it'll there and that's as high as it'll go but yeah it's 50 LEDs I think it came with my first camera so let's turn it down there we go and back off alright guys so like I said I'll kick you back on tell you good night when I'm getting ready to go to sleep and um, or if anything weird happens <laughs> but also all that motion light yeah so that'll be cool because if it kicks on sometimes there's animals out here so if it kicks on I'll know someone or something is out here <laughs> um, and also you know we got a lot of them lizards around here and like it'll they'll walk across the sensor and kick it on but Usually there's coons, there's raccoons that'll come through here or possum here and there, so, and they'll kick it on, so, but, all right, guys, stick around. Okay, guys, so, it is, let's see what time it is. Man, this fan's been doing great. 158, I think it says. Now, I'm not going to sleep yet. I probably won't go to sleep until 4 or 5. Hey, yeah, whatever that says. 158. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys good night now, and I'll see you in the morning. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice having this fan up here. This is, this is great, man. I got the three settings of light, low medium and high setting um yeah and it works great but yeah so unless something strange or stupid or funky happens i'll catch you guys in the morning i want to say thanks for watching i do appreciate it and uh, i'm gonna get this fan back on because it is warm i felt one cool breeze and i was like oh man i wish i was back at the coast but uh the air conditioner just kicked on Man, I thought I would time it right. But, um, so, yeah, Monkey came out and sat with me by the fire. She did a short, <laughs> so, uh, which reminds me, I gotta watch that one. Um, yeah, she came out and sat with me for a little while, and, uh, and she had to go in and, and do her insulin thing, and then this was about 11 o'clock, so she was an hour late on that, so I was like, uh ah. I said, you know what, I said, go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get in the tent and start watching some YouTube. That's what I did. I went in a couple times, checked on her, and uh, last time she, I, had, I put some toothache medicine on, and she said, uh, hey, when you go back out, will you lock the truck up, make sure the truck's locked, because she couldn't remember if she locked it. And I'm like, yeah, I came straight out here, got in here, and I was sitting here. I had my head, you know, I got my headphones on, and I was jamming to Bruce Springsteen, every hungry heart, you know, that song, and uh, it just hit me, I was like, oh no, so I got out, went in, and when I did, I seen the bathroom light on, 
She said, that was me. I was like, what? She said, I just locked the truck, so I went and locked it again anyway. I said, I'm sorry, I forgot. I didn't hear the horn blow because I had my headphones on, but I was like, oh, man. She just told me that, and I'm like, yeah, and I walked right straight out here and went, to, went and got in the tent, and uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so anyway, until the morning, uh, if nothing happens, I'll see you then. And I'll let you know what we're going to do with the tent. Um, I'd like to just exchange it, but if they don't have another one, then, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, I can fix that. I can buy new poles. But you shouldn't have to do that when it was only set up once, and the second time you set it up to sleep in it, it's ready to break. You shouldn't have to, you know. And then, like I say, you know, the, it says, you know, call this number don't take it back to the retailer which is Walmart and then you know you get a hold of and you, and you call that number and it tells you to go through Ozark Trail and then you go on their website and they tell you they're not affiliated with Walmart go through them so you know I don't like that runaround stuff but like I said I can't blame Ozark Trail for that because if they're not affiliated what Walmart does is they just you know they buy it and then sell it to us so they buy it real cheap hundreds of them and then sell them to us and make you know four times the money that they gave for it so it's not ozark trail's fault now if i would have bought this through ozark trail then yeah i, I believe they would send me out a you know a new pole with no problem but anyway guys i'm gonna let you go i'll catch you guys in the morning good night sleep well good morning guys uh it is 6.23. I haven't been to sleep yet. I've been watching YouTube. Come on. I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyway, it's 6.23. So, I'm going to go in the house for a little bit, and I'm going to come back out, and I'm going to take the tent down, and I will do my outro, and I'll do my outro then, um, and let you know what I think about this tent, so, a couple bugs got in, but I went, when I would go outside, and, uh, they would come in like whenever uh, I think they came in the last time I went in the house I think I told you about that I, I was supposed to lock the truck up and didn't but so I think they came in then because I forgot to zip it back up when I went into the house and come back out so but I think I saw two bugs in here but they're bound to get in so alright guys I'll be back with you guys I'm going to go in the house Monkey usually gets up pretty early. I don't know if she's going to be up this early or not. But I'm going to go in and find out, maybe watch some more TV. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take this tent down now. Had to wait a little bit because it was starting to sprinkle and I didn't know how hard it was going to rain. Monkey grabbed my stuff, took it inside real quick. I didn't know. I was in the bedroom. So, but just barely sprinkled. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this down, roll it up, and we're going to pack it away and see what she's going to do with it. I don't know if she wants to uh, exchange it or just uh, refund, but yeah, I mean, it's a great little tent. Too bad, you know, it's pretty crappy quality because that shouldn't happen. And if it does, they should make it where you can get a hold of somebody to get you know what you need taken care of uh, so yeah I'll give it two and a half stars just because of that oh well <laughs> uh, you know 50 bucks is what it cost 49.99 so you know I wouldn't recommend it and that's weird for me to say about a nose trail but I wouldn't recommend that one if that's you know 
you get it out of the box and you go on a hiking trip or whatever camping trip and go to set it up and your pole breaks and then like i said yesterday you know you're out cutting branches and stuff trying to make your tent work for the weekend nah that's not for me so i don't know we'll see what she wants to do but anyway there you go two and a half star if it wasn't for that he'd get a four and a half star real easy all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man legend gone for now we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys bye bye and take care